What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. Today I wanted to do a video, I've compiled a list of six of the most commonly asked questions that I get about solar panels um, in, in response to my solar uh, for beginners videos. So I wanted to do another video in that series. It's been a while since I've done them, but kind of compiling some really common questions that I did not address in the videos that you guys have asked. And so let's go through them one by one. Okay, for the first question that I get uh, asked a lot is, can you wire the inverter before the load center? And so to refresh, um, you want, this is the normal um, setup. You've got your solar panel first, which is wired into the charge controller, which is wired into the battery and also wired into a load center in this scenario. You don't have to have a load center, but it pertains to this question solar charge controller to battery charge controller to load center and then from load center into the inverter and then from the inverter into your load so the question is can you take the inverter and swap places with the load center the answer is yes however that changes the load center from being wired for direct current to now it is needs to be wired for alternating current which is like your house power that that's because this inverter changes from the 12 volt power that your your solar panel and your battery produces it changes it to 120 volt alternating current power that your normal house runs on so that you can power your load so if you put the charge or the load center on this side you will have to wire it for AC power which is completely different well it is very different from direct current not completely different but it's it's different uh, and that will then require in most cases will require you to hire an electrician to to work with that unless you're very very good at what you do and know know what you're doing and are willing to take that risk so the answer is yes you can but know what you're doing before you do that because it will make it much more complicated and you will have to use AC power okay so the next question I get asked a lot is can you power the load directly from the solar panel basically taking out the charge controller the battery and the inverter The answer is no. Um, not because it's a stupid question. There are no stupid questions. It's just because you need to understand how a solar panel operates. The solar panel only operates when it is getting direct full power from the sun or direct light from the sun. So if you were to do this, it, this light would light up. However, anytime the sun went behind a cloud or when it became night or, you know, if it's an overcast day or a tree, you know, for an hour a day, a tree casts a, sh a shadow on your solar panel, this will stop working. So you have no buffering abilities whatsoever. The other thing is this panel produces much higher than 12 volts. It actually produces, you know, 15, 16, 17, 18 volts, somewhere in that range, depending on, on the panel and, and your angle and, and all of that. But that's higher than this thing really wants. This produces higher than 12 volts so that it can charge a battery because you can't charge a battery unless you have around 14 volts. So it's not a good, it's not a good fit. This may, this bulb may burn out or if it's a different load, if it's electronics or something, it may short out and, and die because it's getting too high of a voltage. So the answer is no, you really don't want to do it that way. Another common question I get asked a lot is, can I power my car or my uh, motorized wheelchair, my power chair, my bike, my tricycle, uh, whatever can I power my mobile transportation device with solar the answer is yes but no not really um, you could conceivably power a the lighter the better obviously the less energy you need but take this for example this is a 20 watt solar panel and it's about 
you can't see all that in frame, but it is about oh, 18 inches to two feet tall and a foot wide. And that's only 20 watts. 20 watts will not even, you know, it'll, it'll power a small toy car maybe like this, but it will not power anything big. Okay, and here we are out in my shed. This is a 100 watt solar panel and it's, it comes up to my waist. So, and 100 watts will, it may power a, like a kid's scooter, like a little, uh, what do they call those razor scooters? It might, it might do something like that, maybe, but I, I kind of doubt it. So really what you're, you're working with, yes, you can power those things with, um, solar power, but not, but, but it's, the space required to put enough solar panels on the top of your car or um, attached to the back of your wheelchair is not practical. You would literally have to put up a giant um, panel array of, of solar panels to be able to produce any meaningful amount of power and even then it would probably just move you along at a few miles per hour. So the practical answer is no, you can't really power your bike or any of your motorized um, transportation equipment like a car or whatever with solar. Okay, while we're out in my shed, um, another common question I get asked is, and this is probably the most common question, is how can I run my air conditioner or my heater with solar? You, you can do that, absolutely you can, but you will be paying a lot of money for a lot of solar panels. Again, this this panel over here is 100 watts this uh, air conditioner this and this isn't even a big one but this um, window unit air conditioner consumes i think when i tested it it was 1600 watts or 2000 watts i can't remember which but literally you would need you would need probably 20 of these 100 watt solar panels just to run this at all because you will have losses in your lines and in your charge controller and and so forth so to to get you know 1600 watts worth of of usable power you'd need minimum 2000 watts of of solar and i'd probably say more like 2500 watts so yes you can do it but be prepared to fork out five to ten thousand dollars or more to be able to do so another question i get asked fairly frequently is do i need a diode in my solar panel system to block the power from back feeding into the panel at night time the answer is no uh, most solar panels either already have one it'll usually be in this little black box in the back or you just don't need one i've read in quite a few places that you will actually lose more power as the power has to go through the solar panel through the diode which adds a little bit of extra resistance and then into your your batteries through the charge controller you'll lose more in that extra resistance of the diode dur during the day than you will the tiny tiny trickle of power back into the solar panel at night so really the answer is that's an old notion from 10, 20 years ago that is no longer accurate. You do not need a diode. And the last question that I get a lot is where did you get your blank? Where did you get your solar panel? Where did you get your charge controller? Where did you get your inverter? Whatever it may be. Um, it's really not that, that complicated. I don't have some super secret supplier. Um, probably at least half of the equipment that I get is from Amazon. Um, I really am a big proponent of Amazon Prime. Um, I order a lot of things from it and get the free two-day shipping. So they already have good prices, but you add in free shipping to the mix. And for the most part, most, most items are good prices. But I'm a bargain hunter, so I will spend hours and hours looking for just to save that extra 10% or whatever. So. I order a lot from Amazon. I will occasionally order things from eBay. Um, the only kind of good, and this is just for small solar panels, but the only little secret supplier that I have is solarboulevard.com. That's solarblvd.com. I've ordered uh, 
some, you know, a lot of 10 watt and really small size panels for, for small applications from them. And they have good, really good prices. They're about a dollar per watt at that size, which is pretty, pretty good at, at that size. So um, that's kind of the only one that I would recommend that you probably haven't heard of. But other than that, I would just shop on Amazon and um, at least you can read a ton of reviews. You can read um, what, what people actually have experienced with that particular product instead of just looking at the price and the specs on some random website. So uh, I usually try to put the link to where I got the, the parts from in the description of the video, but if I forget to or whatever, you're welcome to ask me where I get them and I'll, I'll tell you, but chances are it's probably Amazon, eBay, or solarboulevard.com. Okay, that's it for our commonly asked questions. Um, if you have any other questions that you want me to address, please feel free to comment and I'll be happy to add it to the list of future videos. Thanks for watching.